For the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember, I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. And the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. So, in the recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, when it comes to love, this, this card it points to things going very well for the person that you had your heart set on at this time. It was going very well. So, if you were not in a committed relationship, you needed to be open to other possibilities. Because you should have known or you knew that none of, none of us have just one person that is the only person that is right for us or that we can be with on a deep, soulful, happy, meaningful relationship. So you didn't get into the feelings of suspicion or fear. Or that's what you should not have done. You should not have given in to those feelings. Because all was well at this time. And that's with the Seven of Pentacles. It's paired with the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is very, very excellent when it comes to love. Some... Well, someone could have came along and absolutely, absolutely swept you right off your feet, feet at this time. They came along, they swept you right off your feet. Someone could have done that in the recent past. So, yes, you probably tried to put your best foot forward, but you didn't pretend to be someone that you were not. Now... This person, they would have loved you for exactly who you were. So you needed to be honest and everything should have fell right into place. Now, if you were currently in the recent past, well, yeah, if you were in the recent past involved with someone, the relationship could have very well moved into a more com comfortable place. But if you're dissatisfied, if you're unhappy, then you would have needed to say so for things to change. So you didn't expect your lover to read your mind or that's something that you should not have done. You should not have expected them to read your mind. And that's in the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the sun card. Now this is a time, if you're in a committed relationship, when the both of you and your lover, you may be in a more than usual need of space. Now this is definitely not the time to be whiny, clingy, or needy. So if you're looking for love, it definitely could be on the horizon for you at this time. It's paired with the Six of Cups. Now, if you're already in a relationship, this card it indicates that the relationship may need to be refocused for the future. So talk about your goals and your dreams. Try new things. It's important to know not to, not to stay stuck in the past or how you guys did things in the past. Try new things. So on occasions, this card, it will signify the reappearance of an old ex, someone from your past. So think long and hard before you restart an old romance. Because we all know exes are usually exes for a reason. So with these two cards paired together, the Sun card is letting you know if you're already in a relationship, uh, you may be needing some space 
Try not to be whiny, clingy, or needy. It's not a good thing at this time. And it's paired with the Six of Cups. So if you're in that relationship, you may just need to, the both of you may need to refocus it towards the future. Talk about your goals and your dreams. Try new things. Don't stay stuck in how, you, how the two of you did things in the past. Try new things. So, and if you're single, someone from the past could be returning. But think twice before you jump, because we all know exes are exes for a reason. And that's in the present. Now, uh, we've got to move on to the challenge. And the challenge will start with the Three of Cups. Now, although this card can mean a reunion with a, with a lost love, it does not always indicate that. You must look carefully at the rest of this reading to decide whether that interpretation fits. So, if you are single, the most likely interpre interpretation is that you will definitely meet a love soon. Someone who really fits the bill of the person you're looking for and that this person will be a new love, not someone from the past. That's what this card means. And uh, it, says, it says someone that's not from the past, but it could be from the past. But the card usually is an indicator that it's someone new not from the past. Okay, so the Three of Cups is paired with the Three of Pentacles. So when it comes to love, the Pentacles is a good card in a reading. Now, particularly if you, you already know someone that you're interested in, because this tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has the qualities that they're looking for. Although love has not quite developed yet. So there is a need for patience when this card comes up. And if you're not attached but looking for love, this card indicates that you are likely to meet someone through your work or through theirs. So what you need to do is keep your eyes open and with these two cards paired together, the Three of Cups, it just it lets you know that uh, it means reunion. So someone could be returning from your past, a long lost love. Um, and if you're single, you could meet someone soon that really fits the bill in the way that you, you're looking for someone. And being that this Three of Cups is paired with the Three of Pentacles, it's also a good card when it comes to, to romance and love. A very good card, the Three of Pentacles. Because if you know someone you're inter and you're interested in someone you know, they see you in a very positive light. Someone who has the qualities that they're looking for. So either way it goes, uh, the challenge is good. You just have to remember to keep your eyes open. You don't want to miss out on these two opportunities. Keep your eyes open. Okay, and that's going to be the challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the Seven of Cups. So with the Seven of Cups, you probably have several, many romantic choices at this time. So be clear and specific about what you want in a relationship. Evaluate your choices carefully, thoughtfully and carefully. You're going to need to be honest and as clear as you can be with all people involved, including yourself, then move forward or move ahead. You'll also need to be aware of falling in love too fast or in a rush. 
Now, keep in mind that only happens at the beginning of a relationship. Now, no relationship does that rush ever last, forever. Great relationships, even soulmate relationships, they'll end up settling into a less rush, speedy comfort zone at some point. They'll end up being at a comfort zone at some point, okay? So that does not mean that you have to stay in a rut. So the Seven of Cups is paired with the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is a card about fear, as you can see in the picture of the card. It's fear when it comes to love. So either you are holding on way too tight to a situation or a lover, or someone is attempting to do that to you. Now this clinging is not healthy. True love will definitely allow for space between lovers, no matter what. One can never really control another person. So if you are single, and think that you are ready for a relationship, just realize that you will undoubtedly have to step outside of your comfort zone to make it happen. True love will not just drop out of the sky. And with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Cups it's letting you know that you sh around this time you should have, or you will be having several romantic choices at hand. But you need to be clear and specific about what you want. And um, just make sure you don't fall too fast. Because you're going to have many choices at this time. It looks like from the reading, someone from your past is even returning or attempting to return. Okay, so several choices at this time for, re for relationships and for, for love. And it's paired with the Four of Pentacles. Now, with all these choices coming your way, the Four of Pentacles is letting you know that you could be finding yourself fearful about what's going on. And you may be holding on too tight to a situation or a lover. So that holding on and clinging on to something or someone could prevent you possibly from uh, meeting the one that's best for you. Uh, yeah, so you want to you need to work on that. You don't want to hold on to something. That's not healthy for you. Okay? Or you could be in a relationship and you're doing that. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Leo, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate. So, then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so very much for watching. And have a great day.